Okay, gentlemen, Porsche guys, 911 carpet set being cut here by our handy dandy cat controlled cutting machine. Uh, uses DXF files for any of you uh, nerds out there that need to know that. There we go. Uh, we missed one step here. The machine chalks on this chalk line, and these lines here are for the straps to go on the um, towboard carpet. And uh, the other, we'll, sh we'll show it when we cut the others, cut in two sections this, uh, two tables, because it's a big carpet set. And the other, is the other one got the line across it? The other table? Yeah. So we've done the, that now. The next step is to cover it with plastic and cut the rest of it. Okay, so now we're ready for the second part of the cut. We'll start up the fan here. This, this vacuums the material. I'm going to get the air bubbles out. And then the first uh, step is going to be cut in. It'll cut these slots here for around the handbrake and for uh, other positions. That's uh, the slot for the uh, driver's side uh, fixing strap. out the tow ball pedals. Just gonna pause the machine, make sure it's cutting through. And there we go, perfect. So we're happy with that. Gonna roll back the pressure a little bit. Roll back the pressure so that it uh, less stress on the blade. Drop it down to 35. There we go. Continue on. Between cuts, the machine moves at one meter per second, which is extremely fast, as you can see. Now it's cut in the other handbrake slot, and now it's starting some of the main cuts. That looks like the uh, prop shaft tunnel, not that there's a prop shaft, but you know what I mean, and off it goes, it's starting to do its thing. Now, let's look back to the screen, and we can see that as it cuts, it tracks, and when it's completed tr cut, it highlights it. So let's watch it on this inner rocker, or inner silk cover for you Brits, Aussies, Kiwis, South Africans. There we go. Done. So on the second one. And it plots and cuts as it goes. And imagine trying to cut this accurately by hand. Look how beautifully it's cut. So we get to uh, confirm our patterns. They're consistent all the time. We want to make a change. We can adjust the CAD file to make any amendments. And once we get it right, just like Porsche, they were, they were tool cut at Porsche. Um, in the 70s, they had press tools, like giant cookie cutters, and they got pressed, press tooled out. But the same principle, once, once a tool is made, it cuts it out consistently the same every time. Looking at the driver's mat. This looks like the rear mat. Fun game of guessing. Rear mat again. Come on, guys, guess. What's that gonna be? We got it right. Actually, I said driver's mat before. That's passenger. We're cutting drivers there. So even I got it wrong. Got the carpet for the rear of the rear seat and you can see that this of course has that chalk line on it so not only is it cut out the shape but we have the chalk line that was done in the earlier step We've got the tow board carpet being cut now 
we've got the chalk lines, we've got the slots for the paddles. And the machine does this nice cut at the end and then, like a good boy, goes back to its kennel. Thank you very much. You did a great job. My favorite employee. There we go. And that's how we cut our carpets here at Heritage, beautiful Palm Springs, California.